all right everybody welcome back to the channel so um we were talking about on how the car is and everything and whatnot but it did get some comments from everyone which i do appreciate and it's mainly over the stuff that was done to the vehicle uh, from the ejectors to the uh, fuel filter and everything else and the rails we got all that uh installed i'm gonna be more clear on that with you guys i do apologize um and for the rims itself, we're going to pull up the comment here on the phone. If you guys don't mind, see, I'm trying to get this in. We're like at 58 degrees and it's supposed to be raining out. So this is a little bit, a little bit cloudy, a little bit overcast. We might get some raindrops on us, but I'm going to try to get this going as I can here. That was coming from, actually, user doesn't even have a name, but I'll pull it up here if you guys can see it. This user right there if my camera will focus i need a new camera there we go we got that guy right there and then we're just going to go down the list on the uh the rims so just to let you know my guy these rims are offset i gave you the, the dimensions on it before they're 18s 36 uh 265 35s and the offset that we are looking at on this if you want to be able to clear the uh the calipers if you're running the Brimbro calipers like we have here um, your width is going to be about 8 to 9.5 offset I would say 30 millimeters to 45 millimeters mines are about uh, about 30 ish because they they clear well on this one and so that is the uh my offset on that and i will say with the hub and the bore um i will say what 50 55 or is it 56 or 73 millimeters it's between those 56 to 73 millimeters um give or take give or take so that's that's just a rough dimension of it from what i was putting together um if you could tell they are kind of out a little bit if you guys can see that my other comment that I have about the rims from Manuel uh, Hernandez which I honestly you dude you might be a godsend on this but when I do get the rims clean um, I will make a video on the wax I'm going to get I don't know exactly what wax to use so if you want just go ahead and comment down below but I will get that done clean them up especially these fronts and when they dry I am going to put the wax on there and like you said I will thank you later on that but I'm going to thank you now just for giving me the heads up and the comment on it which is superb because I didn't know I could use wax to keep the brake dust down or off so but if anybody else has any more tips about that just let me know and my other comment from Lucan if uh, you guys can see that right there I'm going to give you a shout out there too, my brother um, yeah, we got the fuel rolls and fuel pressure. Like I said, I, I was doing all that. I was trying to get everything in the vehicle, in the in the vehicle, in the video for you. So I do apologize if I skipped over that. Everything is pretty much Cobb accessories. Um, I might go with HKS later on down the road. But like I said, I do want to get everything tuned and double check for it. And my other comment is going to come from Dream Big Garage. Uh, I, I do want to find, like I said, I'm going to keep repeating myself on the tune shop. I do want to find a tune for it. But you was also letting me know about the drill rotors to get rid of those to go with that. either slot it or what else? Slot it and a straight pipe for the vehicle and get rid of the cob access. Which I do, I do want, like I said, I do want a standalone for it. Um, I want to do try something different. So the stuff in the comment that you gave me. I will consider it and I'm going to put it on the list, on the to do list for everything else with that. And for Javi, um, for the oil change, like I said, I do use the standard uh, recommended oil for it and the, also the stock um, oil filter from Subaru. Not losing any quartz or anything dripping as well. Like everything is still nice and tight on it. Um, there's no leaks, no nothing. So I will say just double check with your user manual, see what it says for it, and use the recommended 
or take it down to your dealer to see what they say and have everything looked over if you are if you haven't already did that all right you guys and for titan fan i will make a new video on that if i won't try to get it done today if it doesn't continue raining um on my gas mileage or how i have it the way i do it's it's not hard at all it's very simple um mainly is really throttle control but other than that yeah i'm getting about over 30 mpg on it um i will post a picture of what i have on there well matter of fact let's go in the car and uh double check so that way you guys can see how it looks do you own the vehicle um when she stops beeping stop beeping damn you stop it stop it stop it stop it okay like i said mainly getting that ass on trip a and also on trip b so everything is still the same when i get it filled up and whatnot i'll uh make a video on that so that way everybody else can see what's going on um, i do appreciate the comments uh, let me get out the car all she's going to do is keep beeping i do appreciate the comments from everybody it does help out the channel a lot it does push some more drive for me to get more video more content out on this car um this is one of my dream cars which i fell in love with from seeing it sitting in just had to get it um she's not perfect she does have some imperfections from the previous owner but she is going to run marvelously and hopefully be able to take her out on the track one day so if you guys want just go ahead uh, hit me up on the comments down below and also subscribe to the channel uh, Hit that bell that notification so that way you guys know when I'm dropping new videos and once again, thank you Thank you, and I'm out later